Well, I don't think they trust us. Let's begin. Now, you know, obviously, we've heard recently, haven't we, about companies like Sainsbury's installing things like receipt scanners at the end of self-serve checkouts to actually make sure you've paid for the items that you're going through there with. And correct me if I'm wrong, but I'm pretty sure it was also them who, not so long ago from what I've heard, put all their booze behind locked cabinets, which you can only open apparently if either you scan something with your phone and identify yourself that way or if you get a staff member to do it for you, making you feel all of two years old, or supermarkets like Morrison's installing these big CCTV statue things at the end of the aisle, from what I've heard anyway. But, but now it seems like Tesco has decided to go one step further. But just what is that? I mean, how can it get any worse? Well, apparently, if this article's anything to go by, they won't actually let you in at all until they've checked you via CCTV first. This sounds absolutely mental, doesn't it? But according to this, it says that customers must wait on the opposite side of the glass until the staff determine that they are not a threat before allowing them to enter the store, which just, I don't know about you, but to me it just shows so much distrust in everyday people. And yes, you know, don't get me wrong, I do know that there are people out there who do like the five-finger discounts as much as they can do. But this, in my opinion, is surely insulting every single one of their customers by presumably making them queue up so the security camera can get a good hard look at you before the staff will either say yes or no. And, you know, obviously I don't know about you, but I don't have time for that crap. I think I'll buy my Snickers bar somewhere else. Thank you very much. So where is this happening? Is it going to be all stores throughout the UK? Well, apparently it's only happening so far, at least in the supermarket in the Southville area of Bristol. And it keeps the automatic doors closed until customers are viewed on CCTV to see if they are suspected thieves. But they haven't stopped there because additionally the store chain has eliminated baskets from the entrance due to incidents of thieves filling them up with stolen items. And let's just say leaving hastily. And yes, I do realise that is a big problem. And things do need to be put in place to, let's just say, counteract that. So the basket thing I don't think is too bad. However, whilst admittedly we do live in the CCTV age, we're more than likely CCTV cams will be watching all of us around the street and things like that. However, it just makes you wonder, doesn't it, what could be next? Maybe, who knows, the staff not only will scan your face, but ask you to identify the items you'll come in for, which, to be honest, could actually be a big problem if I just want to buy something really embarrassing, like, you know, obviously my extra-large condoms. But unless the security guard is a fit girl in their 30s, I wouldn't really want to tell them that, eh? So hopefully things like that won't actually happen. Although, admittedly, nothing like that has been announced yet. Although, to be honest, it wouldn't surprise me if such a thing did end up happening if the thefts continued. One worker apparently told the sun it's got so bad we have to check who's coming in we know some of them and don't let them in the shop and that's the way it should be if you see someone coming in then you tell them you don't scan everyone and before letting them in in my opinion anyway the newly introduced policy apparently came into effect last week and operates between 6 a.m to 9 a.m and in the late evenings when no security guards are present well i've got a simple solution to that make the security guards 24 hour or maybe when the shop is open if you're not open for 24 hours however something like this does actually make me wonder if this will eventually replace the security guard themselves because presumably in the eyes of tesco anyway if everyone's all right to come in then there more than likely will be no thefts although all shoplifters presumably have a first time so maybe who knows they'll be recruiting more of them who will be able to bypass their cctv barrier or maybe just maybe might put something like sunglasses on or a hat or whatever to disguise themselves it just makes me wonder if tesco or asda or other sort of companies will suddenly turn into airport security style checks before they let you even buy your pint of milk or sausage or whatever you went in there for so what has tesco said about this well apparently a spokesman for tesco said that all tesco express stores have a remote control door access system available to staff which can be used at times when assaults or thefts are likely to occur he added that the company has invested tens of millions of pounds in the last four years on other security measures including body-worn cameras protection screens and digital radio and of course not to be outdone presumably a spokesman for avon and somerset police said we take thefts from shops seriously and encourage some store workers to report incidents especially when the threats of violence is used well unfortunately it seems like quite often the punishments they actually get for the shop thefts in a lot of areas are let's just say quite light if actually they instead made the sentences much more stronger or longer then presumably the thefts wouldn't happen at all would they it's just a pity they don't think of that eh? and admittedly yes this problem of thefts really does need to get sorted out i just don't think that treating all customers as if they're potential suspects by scanning them before giving them the okay or no 
thereby potentially making them wait ages to get in the store, is the right way to go about it. And hopefully, better things will be put in place to make sure that any potential thieves, let's just say, given a boot in the balls and banned from the stores entirely.